Stop! All right, you're under arrest for operating a vehicle under the influence. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can really be against in court of law. Uh, sit down, sit down, sit down, Joe. Hey, Joe, sit that. down. I, I know love that. Sit down. I understand that. Right. I can't drive around drunk and fucking have my weapon on me. We shouldn't be able to do that, sir. On top of it, you have all your turnout gear, your kit in the back. And your fucking MP7 in I the do. back. I do. It's in the center console. I'm, okay. I'm the police officer. Well, I'm a police officer, so yeah, I would have one in the pipe. All right. Fine. I'll take this fill it's right. Give me the fill fucking fill And that'll give him a better idea where we're at, okay? Put me in handcuffs. Right. Just put me in the fucking handcuffs. <laughs> Just <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> I don't want to have anybody. Calm down. Give me this one. He's got a badge. Federal Bureau of... He's an FBI agent. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Seriously? Well, you were speeding. Okay. What's that? Okay. I'm, I'm trying to do my job. You take it out of the discretion, but you know you were speeding, so yeah. okay. All right, drive safe. I was at 97 miles an hour at one point, catching up to this vehicle. Can I too? You can show me 10, 8, 55, uh, Sierra 7. For the record, that was Mike Johnson, our major. Get a 10, 20, I get 56 here. your lane change and you also failed to make your left turn my left turn when you made your left turn off i-95 in the overpass you didn't have your signal on are Sir, you seriously serious about this first of all i didn't know you who you were i, first I got of all, that what was i my... was at 97 miles an hour behind you 97 what was my speed mark 97 what was my speed 97 not a chance okay not a chance i've never hit 100 in this car in my life okay but you also agreed you were Could speeding you right your body camera on it is on Please make sure it is on. It is on. It was on before. I agreed that I was speeding. You want to write me a ticket? You, no, I didn't you write really you a ticket. You really talked to me like that? Sir, you stuck your hands out the window going, seriously? No, I put my hands out the window so you didn't do something silly. No, sir. Okay, Mark, listen. When have I done something si silly? I didn't say you are doing something silly. I said so you don't do something silly. What would I do that's si silly? Well, apparently... Okay, Mark, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Listen, all I'm saying is... Traffic laws apply to me just like they do to you, and I admitted I'm speeding, and I'm doing it on your body camera, but I was not going 97 miles an hour. I was behind you at 97 miles an hour. Okay. Very good. But I wasn't going 97. Okay. So how fast were you going then? I have no idea. Okay. But I know I wasn't doing 97, because I've never done 97 in this in my life, even while I'm working. But this is ridiculous. 
Seriously? And then you sit there and I'm, I'm willing to give you my driver's license. I'm allowed to do discussion, am I not? Mark, come on. Do Seriously? you want a ticket? Yes, if, if that's what you want to give me. That's not what I wanted to give you. It's ridiculous that you and I are having this discussion. It's like, okay, I said, you're right. I probably was going too fast. But I'm not... All he said was, just slow down for your safety as well as everyone else's. That's not what you actually said. I said, just slow down. That's not what you actually said. I didn't said. say slow down? You said slow down, Mark. You did not say slow down for your safety and for the safety. Okay, but that's what it was meant. Slow down. Do I have to say for the safety? Do you remember in uh, 2006 when you stopped me in my Tahoe and you said I was speeding on South Yes, o Officer Adams and I, we stopped you because your vehicle matched the description of yes. a 41 vehicle from I, West Palm Beach. I, I was involved I in a shooting. A big deal out of any of it. You shoved your hands out the window, did the same I thing, always, and, said, and said, seriously? You said, seriously? I'm like, we looked at each other like, are you kidding? We didn't know you were in, in, in CAT then. We didn't know if there was an undercover operation. And then you start arguing with us that you weren't speeding. No. That's what you told me. No. We never even got to that point. I never left my vehicle. Officer Adams was with me. We looked over the hood of our car at each other. Right. I'm not going to argue with you, Mark. I'm not arguing either, but that's, that's what happened. Have I, have I, at any point in time, have I cursed that you or been disrespectful to you? No, I'm have I? No, of course. I'm not accusing no. you of that. All I'm saying is, is, listen, if I was speeding, I apologize. Okay? But at the same time, as once you know it's me and you're not going to give me a ticket, I don't need... The, I offer you my license. I offered you everything. But I, I really, like, I don't get it. Like, as soon as you know it's me, if you want to give me a ticket, I'm happy to take it. At the same time as pick one or the other, but don't give me the, the, the diatribe. I don't need that. Just like I would never do that to anybody on the street. I either give them a ticket or I send them on their way. Will Brian Seacrest. Apparently it's a misunderstanding tonight. It's fine. Good. I'm not going to argue it, with you. It's not a... It's I don't have my radio with me. Hang on a second. Actually, I do have my radio with me. It doesn't apparently work. All I want to do is talk to you. Temporal, I'll be around. Listen, I'm Anyways, not... All I want to do is talk to you. That was all. Okay, well... Just you and I. That was it. And I could do that. Okay, that's fine. It's not, it's not a big deal. All I'm saying is, listen, I didn't mean to disrespect you in any way. And I don't think you meant to do, disrespect me in any way. All I'm telling you is, if I was speeding, I own it. And I am willing to accept this citation. I'm good with it. But I... I, I give... Listen, I'm not here to give anyone a citation. I, not even my. That's not it. Half the time, I don't plan on giving citations when I get out of my vehicle. So that, so that, that's not it. I give less citations. I give more breaks than I do citations. Okay. I'm not here to argue with you, but you know, you, I, I stopped you for speeding. I will. I will make sure I notify the chief that I was. You don't have to notify the chief. I'm not going to tell anyone. I have no choice but to by policy. So I will let them know that I was stopped for speeding by you tonight, and that's just the way it is. But. Even so, all right, you're good. I'm good. All right. All I want you to do is slow down. I don't want to see anything happen to you. I, you know what I'm saying? I believe that 100%. I don't want to see anything happen to any of us. I, also I yelled at El Costa a few weeks ago on Channel 2 for driving like an idiot. That's all. I believe you 100%. Okay. Very good. All right. Thank you. Yep. Be safe. Thank you. Hello, sir. How are you yeah. doing? I saw you there, but I wouldn't have gone through if I didn't think it was still yellow when I did it. Sorry about that. It looked like it was red. It looked no, like you barely I'm sorry. missed it, sir. I certainly had no idea. If that, I, I thought right. I was on pretty safe ground because I saw you sitting there, and I thought I wasn't going to go through it. Yeah, it looks like you barely missed it on the yeah, yellow, sorry sir. Sorry about that. My mistake. That's, it's it's uh, probably not a good idea even on yellow, so I, yeah. I appreciate that you're out here doing yeah. what you're doing. Yeah, so uh, registration, license, uh, proof of insurance, sir. I'm guessing I need all that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
How's your day going though, well, besides I've this? Been dealing with budget meetings for the last multiple hours. Since you know a city call. Yeah. Assuming the car is in your name? No, it's a city car. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to go and guess the insurance is good then, right, yeah, sir? Yeah, I think so. All right, well. I appreciate it. I give warning, so. No, I'm, no, I'm sorry. As I said, I wouldn't have, uh, if, I, if I thought it was, uh, trust me, I, I know this is a tough, tough intersection, so I would yeah. not be. Uh, Oh, it's all right, sir. Something that I think is good. Yeah, well, fine. I appreciate that. I, if I got it wrong, sorry about that. Oh, it's all right, sir. Have a good night. All right. I'd like your respect to the drunk driver. Hardworking people on their way home after a long work week. They're completely swerving in between the lines. Nearly hitting the median multiple times as the driver turned onto Warner Road from Dobson Road. The caller had no idea who was behind the wheel. There was a yellow license plate and then I think there was like a blue man. Gilbert Police Officer Gonzalo Dominguez was in pursuit of the driver with the fallen officer's specialty license plate when he turned right onto Lindsay Road from Warner Road, swerving back and forth within the lane. Dominguez, a rookie cop, was just starting his field training. Patrol Officer Josiah Saladin, his trainer, is with him. Go down the back window, please. Uh, Officer Dominguez, how are you doing? I need your license, please. Any weapons, anything illegal in the vehicle? Yeah, I have a gun. Um, Where's your weapon? Right there. Officer Dominguez unloads Van Galder's pistol. Have you been drinking it all, sir? Beer, beer, He would later contradict himself. All right, it's our job to keep the roadway safe. You should know this, okay? You understand that I'm retiring the law. The responding officers seem handcuffed. We're going to tie our hands. We have odor of alcohol. We have slurred speech. All right, we have your driving behavior. Is Van Galder implying they're supposed to ignore his actions and give him professional courtesy? I have 20 years on the job. Remember, he claimed he had one beer. Beer, yeah, beer. I didn't realize I've had a couple drinks. I no argument with that. Van Galder refuses a field sobriety test, wants them to park his car and allow him to walk home. It's a long walk, more than five miles. Just so you know. Tomorrow, I'll retire. He wants them to let him go and cut him a break.